Damn. Who thought I was gonna quit YouTube? Me. 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 You can't get rid of me that easily. Over this past week, I've had some hardcore conversations about my emotional state. I was a little stressed. A wee bit stressed. No, no, for real? No, Danny wasn't crying. Yes, 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 I was. I was a little stressed. I was a little angry. <laughs> well, I didn't say it, but I showed it clearly. I showed it. It was that overwhelming feeling that made me want to quit. I wanted to quit because I thought it was going to be too much to handle. When in reality, I've done this before. I have trained while going to school full time, like literally taking like five classes and working part time and doing social media content. So I have done this before, but yet, because at that moment I wanted to figure it out right there and then I needed to have the answers for every little thing in my life. I had a lot of shoulds, like I should have been in another position, I should have made more money, I should have been fighting, like I should have done a lot of shit. Bro, okay, I'm 25 years old, the fuck? Really? Really? Like, I was acting like if I was like, what, 30, 40 years old, like, girl, chill the fuck out. Yes, I did that, like to myself. <laughs> I was like, wow. And then on top of that, I show you the video, right? And it, I'm crying. And I'm like, I don't want pity. But yet, I'm showing you that I'm crying. I get it. I get it. I get it. You know, Carla called me out on that. So I was like, okay, you're right. <laughs> I also mentioned that a lot of people are bullshitters, which is in fact true. But the only reason why I was so fed up is because I listened to those people. My people also keep themselves accountable. And that's also none of my business. It's not even my problem, bro. It's not even my problem that people do not keep themselves accountable. So I get that I was angry for something that wasn't even mine. It wasn't even my problem. Like literally, that itself was not my problem. One thing for sure about me that I have, I am very guilty of is once I find myself being peaceful, it's like my body feels like it's foreign. And logically, like I know that I am doing everything that I can to make myself happy. And then once I feel it, my body is like, like you should be happy. Like, no, no, girl, you don't deserve to be happy, girl. Mm, 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 mm. Girl, girl, girl. No. I feel peace at times, right? It's like I need to fuck it up for myself. Why? It, it's how I grew up. One of my traumas was the fact that my, um, my dad's in Mexico. So when we left Mexico, I was, I was very sad. I was very angry. So that kind of that translated in a lot of things in my life and then <laughs> i never received therapy for it
I know that I am healing from that. And then the fact that I keep constant communication with him is what helps heal that process. I'm still doing something about it. But like I said, because at the time, I didn't speak up sooner. I didn't speak up sooner because I felt like I was gonna add another burden to somebody, to my best friends. You know, they're business owners, they're doing their own thing. They have a lot of stress as it is, but then I feel bad for adding more stress into their life. So then I stay quiet and then I don't say anything and look at me. So that was on me. Like, I know that was on me. So there it is. Am I happy? Yes. Am I blessed? Yes. Am I gonna keep going? Hell yeah! <laughs> so you're gonna see more of that, all right? I have my ups, I have my downs, but I am human. I fuck up just like everybody else. But then I get back up. Ah, oh, one last thing. One last thing. Ah, usa, 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 usa. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I spoke to my dad about what happened, and he told me there are people that work day by day just to eat i complain about what i should be doing about my wants but then there's people that are genuinely struggling to eat every day and people are getting sick from covid and and other things and i have the i have everything that i need i have my health i'm healthy i have food in my fridge and I have a good job. And on top of that, I get to share it with you guys. Like I can talk about me freely. Like, yeah, I understand there is a lot to be grateful for. And this is why I talk about my issues because I am human and I know I mess up. And I also know that I sometimes say a lot of things out of emotion right i'm just glad <laughs> that i got to speak about it and i'm glad that i'm still here because i am really fucking wealthy and i don't mean in the wealth as in money wise or financial wealth i mean wealthy in the sense that i have a family that loves me i genuinely have people that love me for me and there are some people that j understand me and want the best for me. And it will be a slap in the face for me to quit something that I worked so fucking hard for and I'm still working at it. And yeah. it's like, no, right, okay. why would I throw it all away? Why would I throw all my works and all the effort that I made, all those times that I cried and all those frustrations and all those planning days, why would I throw it all away? I would not. I am a very emotional human being. No, I mean, I've got, everybody knows that. But I, I don't mind expressing that. I don't mind it because chances are many of you are the same way. But then not everybody shows it. And that's fine. I'm here. I got you, man. If you don't show your emotions like I do, it's alright. It's alright. I got you. I got you. I'll show them for you. <laughs>